Hi Libra, it's Dream Seer 444 here to do your reading. Your sign came up next, so I feel like there's a very important message for Libras, okay? So Libra, the two cards that came out for you are uh, assimilate life experience and listen to your intuition. So Libra, I feel that it's very important for you to pay attention to the people who are in your life and how you're feeling about your connections what's going on around you pay close attention to the people and how you're feeling with the connections um trust your gut trust your intuition when it comes to dealing with people at this time because i feel that um, some of you may be dealing with some digestive issues um or something that is kind of giving you a warning as to whether you should uh, be trusting someone the number 12 might mean something to you guys. The number 2 and also the number 20 um, could mean something to you. But looking at this Assimilate Life Experience card, I see that there is a man who's looking to take the lead. Um, looks like they're going somewhere and this man is leading. Now the horse that he's connected to, I don't know if you guys can see it. The horse that he's connected to has this look on his face like you can't really trust what's behind him. And behind him, it looks like she's pointing this arrow or whatever this is at his head. Like there's some type of betrayal or deception that's behind him that he isn't aware of. So I want to say to some of you, Libra, that you may be leading um, a, I don't know if you're a leader at work or at home or whatever this is, pay attention to the people that are in your life because someone may be uh, very deceptive looking to deceive you in some way okay um, someone doesn't have good intentions so be very mindful of the people who you are dealing with okay and trust your intuition if something is telling you not to take from someone or not to trust someone then do so okay um, I feel that with the four of wands and the king of swords coming out I feel that there will be something that's illuminated to you. You will receive some type of clarity regarding a connection. If you're in some type of a marriage, you'll be able to really see clearly what you need to do. And you may need to cut off a connection. And I'm not telling anyone what to do when it comes to marriage. I'm just going by what I'm seeing here, okay? You may have felt that something was wish fulfillment. Okay, with the star card, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius, or you could be very hopeful right now of um, something working out. Tell me what's going on with the star card and Libra. What's going on with the star card and Libra? Magician. So you may have been looking to manifest something and hoping for the best, you know, in the situation. Okay, but tell me what's going on here. A lot of cards uh, all, right. all right so we see we see hope we see wish fulfillment we see um look at the world card okay so for some of you something that you were hoping to work out and that you were trying to manifest a happy ending with may be coming to an end here okay this may be closing out a cycle a cycle with someone um, with the Six of Pentacles, you could be splitting assets um, equally amongst one another, okay? Or someone could be asking for something. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Libra? Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Libra? You have the Six of Swords and you have the Death and Rebirth, which comes right, right um, up under the Magician. So there could be a um, thoughts about moving away from a situation onto calmer waters. If this is a marriage, you could be working on splitting assets and, you know, just moving forward and putting a complete ending to this. You have the world card and you have the death, the Scorpio card, the death card as well. Okay, that king of swords is still trying to peek out here. Okay, so for some of you, this is dealing with some type of betrayal. Someone may have done something behind your back or maybe this is something that's yet to come be very careful and trust your intuition when it comes to people that are around you i'll say that again okay tell me more what's going on with libra what's going on with libra ace of cups nine of cups 
So either you have an opportunity for a new beginning in love, um, which which is wish fulfillment. Do you have the three of cups here? This is celebrating with friends, um, some type of um, event or something that is worth you know celebrating here. Why are we seeing this for Libra? This could be something that you could look forward to, Libra, or this is something that you were hoping for. You could have been hoping for a new beginning and wish fulfillment, or this is something that you have to look forward to. Tell me more for Libra. What does Libra, what can Libra look forward to here? Tell me more for Libra. Victory and success, nine of wands. So I feel that for some of you, this was something that you had hope for you were hoping for victory in this new beginning you had um hopes that this would be the wish fulfillment in which you would receive equal give and take but you may be finding yourself having to move forward and re and balance out your life um all over again after some type of disappointment what happened here with libra six of cups okay you could be reminiscing or thinking back um or this could be saying that you have um may have dealing with someone from your past judgment so you may have gone back to someone for a second chance libra with the six of cups and the judgment in hopes that it would work out with the ace of wands sticking out here you were hoping for a new beginning but then with the seven of swords someone may have been very deceptive in their um, intentions with this situation and tell me more here for libra someone may have withheld information not said something or we're very sneaky. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Libra? Hermit mode. So someone may have secretly went off, may have ghosted you, or just kind of detached themselves from a situation. Or this could have been you going off into hermit mode. Oh, no. Eight of Cups is out here. So someone may have ghosted someone and secretly and just went and walked off onto something else. Be very careful, Libra. I don't know if this has already happened to someone or if this is something that's going to take place here. But trust your intuition when it comes to dealing with someone, okay? All right, Libra, let's get some messages of love here because this does seem to be dealing with love. Okay, what is the message of love for Libra? What is the message of love here for Libra? What is the message here? Protected. Know that you are safe and you are divinely guided in this situation. Strictly sexual came out here on the side. For some of you, someone may have just wanted a sexual connection and nothing more. And this person may move on to something else. They may ghost you or may have ghosted you and moved on, okay? Right. That's not for everyone. Tell me more. Tell me more for Libra when it comes to love. What is the message of love here for Libra? What's the message of love here for Libra? Wow, strictly sexual came out again, but it came out in reverse. This is crazy because it's letting me know that this connection was not was passionate but not enduring, or it is passionate but not enduring. Um, so if you're currently dealing with the situation and you're noticing that it's just a lot of sex, a lot of sex, but it's not going anywhere, um, that could be because the person just wants. I'm gonna leave it out here. Okay, now this could be someone wanting to change their mind now and come towards you realizing that you are a soulmate and wanting to apologize to you for the way they behave with you. Okay, so for some of you, this is past tense. This is something that already happened. And now this person regrets treating you like an object. And now they're wanting to come forward with an apology and let you know that they are secretly yearning for you. Okay, someone may take a leap of faith towards you because there's a lot of chemistry. They may ask for time alone and apart from everyone else to be with you, Libra or Cross Watcher. Okay. Someone may say that, you know, feel that they have awakened now to the connection, that they've gone through some type of spiritual lesson, some type of awakening, but you're being warned not to dismiss the red flags when it comes to this person. What is this person's intentions for Libra or Cross Watcher? What is this person's intentions for Libra and Cross Watcher? What is this person's intentions? They're going to make the effort to try to fix this situation with you because they feel that it is worth it, okay? 
what else? What is this person's intentions for Libra? They're staying optimistic about connecting with you again, okay? Also, they may be coming with an offer of engagement or a higher level of commitment. And there's engagement and there's wedding. And they want to get to know you all over again, okay? They feel that there's a lot of attraction between you. And this person may feel that um, they have worked on themselves or you may be asked to love yourself first when it comes to this person, okay? Whichever way it works for you, um, Libra you go with that okay let's get some advice for you libra and then i'm going to close this out what advice do we have for libra be bold and make the first move so libra this could be you um or this person could be being bold and make the first move whichever way all right show the world the real you and a new start is coming okay all right, so Libra, I'm going to leave your reading here. I hope it resonates with you. I hope it brings clarity to a situation when it comes to you. Um, I ask that you guys like, share, comment. You're more than welcome on my channel. I thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you on the next one.